एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल माई नेम इज़ अनूप सिंह यू आर वॉचिंग एरोटेक एडवांस यूट्यूब चैनल सो इन टूडे वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस रिलेटेड टू फंडामेंटल ऑफ रॉकेट प्रपल्शन ऑन प्रीवियस वीडियो वी आर ऑलरेडी डिस्कसन रिलेटेड टू सो मेनी टॉपिक्स रिलेटेड टू जेट प्रपल्शन जेट इंजिन एयरक्राफ्ट इंजिन सो इन टूडे वीडियो लिटिल बिट न्यू रिलेटेड टू रॉकेट प्रपल्शन सो मोस्ट ऑफ सिमिलर टॉपिक्स so the rocket propulsion is uh, itself a very big subject and uh, it's itself is a very big domain specialization but here i am going to give some idea or overview about the fundamental of rocket propulsion so there are total four important points we are going to see in today topic related to fundamental of rocket propulsion initially i am find out that which topic i am going to select that uh, students or candidates are going to understand not much in detail but understand the basic and fundamental of rocket propulsion so i have chosen here the four important points only so let's see the first point that is performance parameter second one is rocket nozzle third one is thrust equation and calculation fourth one is types of rocket engines so this four points i have chosen to explain only the basic and fundamental of rocket propulsion so students or candidates understand or aware about that what is rocket propulsion actually so let's start with first important point that is performance parameter performance parameter i am defining here that is thrust thrust is a very important parameter performance parameter of uh, aircraft engine and rocket engine so let's see about the first performance parameter that is thrust the most value ve uh, vehicles needed to overcome the weight and drag by generating the thrust and there are so many ways of generating the thrust that is you can find out in different different uh, machine like uh, internal combustion engine in uh, jet engine and rocket engine if you talk about the internal combustion engine usually you can find out these types of engine in uh, automobile uh, vehicles like car buses they are generally small in size but required oxygen supply if you see in the case of jet engine it's usually we are using in the aircraft airplanes they are they can generate a lots of thrust but they still needed a oxygen supply or you can say air supply so and in the case of rocket engine they generated the enough thrust to escape the earth gravity and their own oxidizer oxidizer carrying the own oxidizer so they work in the space so this all three machines producing the thrust but in different different way the first two category of machine that is internal combustion engine and jet engine both of machine using oxygen means air directly from the atmosphere but rocket engine carrying his own oxygen or oxidizer because is working out of atmosphere it's working in the space that's the reason typically a rocket engine produce two types of the thrust thrust pressure and second one is jet thrust so here topic is related to rocket that's the reason we are not going to talk about uh, ic engine and uh, jet engine we are going to talk about only related to rocket engine so rocket engine are able to produce two types of thrust the first one is pressure thrust and second one is jet thrust pressure thrust is generated a higher pressure behind the rocket that is pe minus pa into a pe is the stand for exit pressure and pa is the ambient pressure of ambient pressure and a is the chamber area of the engine rocket engine in case of jet thrust pushes the rocket forward by throwing the gases out of the back its work on newton second law that is f is equal to m a mass and acceleration so here we are taking the example that f is equal to total thrust is equal to m dot into ve is that is the exit just jet velocity or you can say exit velocity of the jet 
of a rocket engine so guys oh, the total thrust produced by the rocket is equal to pressure thrust plus jet thrust and jet produced by the rocket engine depends upon the few parameters what i have mentioned in this video in earlier discussion of total thrust of the rocket engine we already seen the total thrust of the engine is equal to pressure thrust plus jet thrust so let's see what is pressure thrust and how it is produced the pressure thrust or you can say pressure force here i given the example and we know the principle also the air or fluids wants to go from higher pressure to the lower pressure this is a general principle everyone is know so with the help of this pressure we are defining in the terms of or in the forms of mathematically that is p1 minus pa into a we knows the force we know the area and we know also know about the pressure pressure is what the pressure is force into area so in with the help of this principle we are defining the pressure thrust or you can say pressure force that is pe minus pa into ae what we are seen in the equation of total thrust produced by the rocket engine similarly here i have given the example that how the pressure thrust or pressure force is generated with the help of simple example the fluid is flow from one side to another side means low energy area side and we are writing the mathematical equations so we can easily find out that is equal to p1 minus pa in, uh, p2 into area so this is about the pressure force or pressure thrust let's see about the jet thrust the jet thrust is produced with the help of newton's third law we already know about that and we done also discussion about the newton's third law on my previous video it's working on the principle of momentum forces if you throw something out one way it will push you the other way that is newton's third law in with the help of that principle rocket is working and we are defining the jet thrust what we are seen in the total thrust formula that is pressure thrust plus jet thrust so rocket nozzle if you see here i given the typical picture or typical diagram of nozzle is very simple diagram the nozzle generally push on high gases and accelerate them out the back in return the gases pushes on the nozzle and accelerate it forward so in the simple language it's work similar like jet engine only difference is, is that the rocket engine carry is own oxygen or own oxidizer inside the engine and it's work on the same principle that is newton's law and producing the thrust accordingly but the role of the rocket nozzle is very important because whatever the velocity of the exhaust gas of the nozzle is a very high speed as compared to the jet engine that's the reason the design of the rocket nozzle is very important and that's the reason we are discussing here the third point is thrust equation and calculation here i mentioned the calculation also because i want to show you the simple calculation of thrust of rocket engine so let's see first uh, thrust equation thrust equation i already told you the total thrust is equal to pressure thrust plus jet thrust so in this equation if you see the the pressure thrust that is pe minus pa into ae a is the exit area of the engine p is the exit pressure of the engine of the rocket engine and pa is the ambient pressure that is you can find out in the atmosphere pressure atmospheric pressure so the pressure thrust that is pe minus pa into ae and the jet thrust you can see in this equation that is rho v square into ae so that is called jet thrust with the help of newton's law and momentum principle so this is the total equation total thrust equation of a rocket engine let's see the thrust calculation the thrust calculation if you see here i have uh, given some example that exit condition is given and ambient condition is given ambient condition where the rocket engine is or rocket is flying at at that point 
I have taken that the PA is equal to 101 Pascal kilopascal. Area is a 0.05 meter square and mass of the rocket is 0.5 kg. And exit condition we have taken that PE is equal to 150 kilopascal or you can take in Pascal also. Exit velocity of jet is 100 meter per second and density is 1.2 kg per meter cube. So this is a parameter I have taken in order to give some example of thrust calculation. Let's see applying the thrust equation what we have seen that is thrust is equal to PE minus PA into AE plus rho V square into AE. So the area is given already, mass is given, most of all the parameter is given. So let's see the thrust, I am putting all the value of uh, in the thrust equation and uh, I got the answer is 3050 Newton. So this is a simple example to find simple formula to find out the thrust and suppose I want to find out acceleration we know Newton second law f is equal to ma we already knows the mass flow rate and we already find out what is the thrust so with the help of that you can easily find out acceleration is equal to thrust upon mass of the rocket so with the help of that we can easily find out acceleration of rocket rocket so this is a simple basic calculation what I need to explain to each and every candidates. So it's very simple to find out thrust and acceleration of the rocket. Before move to fourth point, first we are going to see or discuss about the specific impulse. The specific impulse is used to classify how well a rocket perform. So a specific impulse is a performance parameter and it's defining mathematically if you see here I given the mathematical equation that is uh, is equal to thrust upon m dot into g because of uh, gravity we are taken. So this is a equation mathematical equation of specific impulse and the specific impulse is generally defining that how the aircraft perform understand if the specific impulse is low so what's the mean it means that need a lot of fuel to achieve the thrust and if the specific impulse is high it means that do not need as much as fuel to achieve the same thrust. So this is the example of high specific impulse and low specific impulse. The fourth point that is the types of rocket engine. So there are five types of the rocket engine what I have mentioned here that the first one is pressurized air second one is solid propellant third one is liquid propellant rocket fourth one is nuclear type and the fifth one is electrical type rocket engine the first type of the rocket engine that is compressed air the compressed air leaves out of the back of the rocket and it pushes the air the rocket move forward so with the help of this principle compressed types of rocket engine is worked. The second solid propellant type of rocket engine. The propellant is initially in the solid state and it's become a hot gases during the combustion process in the combustion chamber. Generally you can find out what's the advantages and disadvantages. Let's see the advantages. It is very simple in design and it is very cheap in manufacturing also. Easy to store the propellant solid propellant and can be launched quickly. So this is the advantages of solid propellant rocket and disadvantage is that specific few uh, specific impulse is only 150 to 350 means specific impulse is low and it cannot be turned off after the ignition means once the ignition take place in the combustion in the rocket engine it's not going to stop and also the main drawback on disadvantages in this engine is that cannot throttle during the flight. So this is the advantages and disadvantages and principle of solid propellant engine rocket engine. Let's see for the liquid propellant rocket engine. In liquid propellant rocket engine fuel and oxidizer are both stored separately but in the liquid form. So these things we are doing in the liquid propellant rocket engine and 
the advantages of this liquid propellant rocket engine is better performance because specific impulse is very good is near about 300 to 460 and disadvantage is, is that it is very complex if you see the placement and storing of uh, propellant that's the reason it's uh, complex it's required pump and pressurized gas tanks in order to store the liquid form of uh, fuel and oxidizer and uh, this category of uh, propellant engine liquid propellant uh, uh, rocket engine is heavier as compared to other category of uh, rocket engine so this is about the liquid propellant rocket engine for nuclear types of a rocket engine you can find out in that case that nuclear reactor heats working gases that is accelerate through the nozzle if you see the advantages of the nuclear type it possesses very high specific impulse that is 800 to 1000 specific impulse and this advantage is that required shielding and it is very heavy because to in order to protect because we are using the nuclear power and guys it is very nuke and dangerous so this is a principle and advantages and disadvantages of nuclear type of rocket engine let's see for electric type of rocket engine the two types of of uh, electric rocket engine that is arc jet and ion thruster the arc jet is using the electricity to superheat the gases and ion thruster is used the ionized charge atoms are accelerate through the electromagnetic uh, electromagnetic field so this is a two types of electric rocket and advantages is, is that uh, it possesses a high specific impulse that is 400 to 10000 that is very very high and disadvantage is, is thrust is usually less than 1 newton so this is about the electric rocket engine so guys thank you for watching my video and i hope so in today topic you guys are understand related to fundamental of rocket propulsion we have discussed only at basic and only information purpose only overview of rocket propulsion so any category of candidates any engineering field of candidates are understand related to rocket propulsion that's the reason I have made this video accordingly and I have chosen all four points in order to explain related to rocket and rocket propulsion system that's the reason I have chosen the four main points that is performance parameter with the help of that I have explained thrust then rocket nozzle then thrust equation and calculation so you guys are understand what is thrust equation and how we are doing the calculation of thrust and the last one we, are, we have discussed the types of the rocket engines and we have seen the five types of rocket engines so with the help of that I have explained the overview of fundamental of rocket engine I hope so you guys are understand if you guys have any queries you can ask me in the comment box and give your valuable feedback also so guys thank you so much for watching this video